Hello everyone, welcome to the LCM Brick Show Cave and this is the place uh, where I work on my new project uh, Battle of Kiev World War II. While working with my videos I used one program a lot. I can say for sure that I've been using it all the time for the last two years. And what a coincidence, I was asked to tell you about it today. So one minute of your attention and I'll be back with a history stop motion. So guys, Wondershare Uni Converter. As you can guess from the name, first of all, it's a powerful converter which can convert any files into the files you need. For my stop motions I download and use a lot of videos from different sources and all of them have different formats, so pretty often I have to convert them to proceed with my stop motions. And for two years I've been using Wondershare Uni Converter for these purposes. And it's not a promotion slogan, I really use this program for a long time. Very important that besides the file extension I can change also the size and the quality of the video. The same with the audio. You can cut audio from the files and convert audio files. Pretty cool thing is a downloader. Easy way to get video from internet. Just get the link, put it into the program and choose the output options and you get the video on your computer. Another cool feature is a screen recorder. No need to explain and even this video is made with a Wondershare screen recorder. You can burn DVD if you still work with them. And also this program can be used as a video editing program with basic instruments. But still the main thing is a converter and a compressor. I'm sure it's the best converter you can find and don't forget about the Christmas prize which is waiting for you if you click the link under the video. Thank you for your time and we are back to the history brick film Battle of Kiev part 2. Enjoy! When the war began, there was a border military dock school in the city of Lvov. Где ваш командир? Он мне срочно нужен. Майор Филиппов. Я из штаба генерала Снегова. Связи нет, и вам не сообщили. Вчера началась война. В вашу школу собак и всех пограничников приказано эвакуировать на север Киева, в район села Легедзина. Собирайте собак, документы. У вас два часа. A detachment of border guards and about 200 dogs retreated with the army. Ich habe beschlossen, einen Teil von den Truppen der Heersgruppe Mitte abzuzählen und nach Süden zu schicken und unseren Angriff auf Kiew zu verstärken. Entschuldigung, mein Führer. Ich bin absichtlich zum Hauptquartier geflogen, um diesen Befehl zu besprechen. Lassen Sie mich einen Kontrapunkt anbieten. Bitte. Der Kommandant der zweiten Panzergruppe Heinz Guderian will uns seine Meinung sagen. Ich höre. Mein Führer, ich bin sicher, dass die Eroberung Moskaus auf erster Priorität hat. Wir müssen uns nur ein wenig anstrengen und die Hauptstadt Russlands wird erobert. Es ist jetzt eine Fehde, uns Kräfte wegzunehmen, um in andere Richtungen anzugreifen. Gudarian, die Kämpfe und Kiew sind sehr hart. Wir verschwenden Zeit. Seit einem Monat stürmen wir Kiew und bisher ohne Erfolg. Der Herbst kommt und dann Winter. Die Soldaten müssen gefüttert werden. Wir brauchen die Ukraine, um Getreide und Kohlenreserven zu bekommen. Dies steht nicht zur Diskussion. Ich befehle, die Offensive gegen Moskau zu stoppen und einen Teil der Truppen von der Heersgruppe Mitte zum Angriff auf Kiew zu bewegen. Sie müssen die Ukraine so schnell wie möglich erobern. Kann mir jemand sagen, wer dieser Mann war und warum er Kopien unseren geheimen Dokumenten angefertigt hat? 
the Soviet defense withstood the blow of the German army and did not allow Kiev to be taken. Then, the Germans decided to bypass Kiev from the north and surround the Soviet soldiers. And then a battle took place, which is unique in its way. This never happened again. Пограничники, нам приказано копаться здесь и подготовить линию обороны. Майор, плохие новости. Немцы прорвались. Есть риск окружения основных сил. Враг может пойти через эту деревню. Вы должны продержаться как можно дольше, чтобы мы могли отвести из окружения часть дивизий. И еще. Продуктов у нас мало. На каждого солдата по одной трети пайка. На ваших собак еды вообще нет. Так что приказывают 200 собак убить. Кормить их нечем. Бойцы, вы слышали? Я не могу отдать вам приказ убивать собак. Каждый сам за себя пусть решает. There was not enough food, and the commander was ordered to shoot the dogs so as to not waste food on them. But the border guards were unable to kill their dogs. When the Germans launched an offensive on Kiev, the border guards were located a little further north. When the Germans were unable to break through the defenses of the Soviet forces in a direct attack and began to bypass, it was the border guards who were ordered to detain the Germans as long as possible. On July the 30th, 1941, the Leibstandarte Althoff Hitler Brigade attacked the village of Legezino. The attack was repelled by 500 border guards. Orders? No, 500 Russen. That will be easy. What are you doing? Now we'll kill you from the guns! Evasovica! I'm going to go to the flu! Fire! The fight was fierce. The border guards destroyed 17 tanks and killed many German soldiers, but only a few of the 500 border guards stayed alive. At this critical moment, one of the border guards' officers ordered, Release the dogs!
Hungry and angry, almost 200 military shepherds rushed at the Germans. Because of the high grass, the Germans could not see the dogs, and they began to tear up the Nazis. All 500 of the border guards were killed. However, the horror of the Germans was such that the attack on this area stopped for two days. The Germans killed all the dogs in the nearby villages and towns. Kiev was lost. Despite the built-up defense and self-sacrifice, the Soviet army was defeated near Kiev. The defeat near Kiev was a heavy blow for the Soviet Union, since not only the city was surrendered, but in fact the whole of Ukraine, which possessed serious strategic reserves of food and coal, the army suffered huge losses. In addition, the defeat near Kiev was one of the biggest failures of the Soviet command. The only plus was that the Germans stormed Kiev for too long, almost two months. And during this time, the reserves managed to approach Moscow. Until next time, farewell and thank you for watching.